I've made a few videos recently on these sorts of network radios that run on a platform called Global PTT. The comments revealed a lot of confusion amongst many of the viewers on what these actually are and what Global PTT actually does. So I thought I'd make a step-by-step -step video on the Global PTT platform as nobody else has done. So, Global PTT is a push to talk over cellular platform which enables these sorts of devices to talk to each other like conventional two way radios, with the advantage of a range of many thousands of miles. It was established in 2014 by Quanzhou Wurwoi Electronics, a Chinese company with the vision of creating short and long range communication networks via devices such as these. Global PTT allows users of these radios to set up their company and then create talk groups and channels with extra features such as GPS. So let's look at some of the most common questions I get before we look at the platform setup. The first question is do you need a SIM card and the answer is yes. These devices don't run off Wi-Fi networks and require a SIM card. The SIM cards Global PTT do are 72 country cards, global cards, a China and Hong Kong card, and a single country card. They're also compatible with other cards, for example, I have a device running on a 3 data SIM which I pay £9 a month for and get 25GB of data. Network radio devices from my research seem to use 12 to 45 kilobytes per second, so depending on the level of traffic you'd be using on Global PTT, you should be able to make an informed decision on what SIM option is best for you. I have a few devices on Global PTT SIMs and they seem to switch between the 3 and EE networks depending on where I am. The next question I get is, aren't these just a mobile phone? And the answer is yes and no. They're PTT over cellular devices, so don't have the same functionality as a mobile phone. They also don't come with the same cost as a mobile phone. They can be used for things such as fleet management, security and staffing at large events, and everything in between. They're not designed to replace a mobile phone and don't require phone numbers to dial as they just rely on a PTT button. As for Global PTT, my platform account came free with my device. If you require just the platform, then there is a fee. Global PTT works in any country, and it's so easy to link your POC devices to it and get going. You'll be supplied with a login, and when you log in, you'll be met with this dashboard. The first thing to do is set up your profile by adding your name, phone number and country. PTT cards and GPS cards are basically the amount of allowed devices you can add to your platform. I already have 5 devices added, so the 5 in the box tells me I can add 5 more. I have a GPS card available too, which will allow GPS positioning data to be sent and received by compatible devices. The next thing to do is create your company. This is the name your groups and users will be associated with when they're added to the platform. The next step is to create a group. These radios can access groups and make radio to radio calls. The group function allows you to divide handsets into different categories or teams if you only want certain communications to reach certain people. And finally you can add your devices or users. You can select your company and the group you want a particular user to be added to, name the device and import your account file which Global PTT provides. Then you simply add the IMEI number which can be found inside each device. Then you enable or disable GPS and finally submit and it's as simple as that. When you next turn your device on it'll automatically be on the Global PTT platform. Global PTT will run on Android, Windows and certain POC devices. The square camo device I showed you is the Global PTT G388 and have reviewed the identical set from Fontool on the Global PTT platform in a video I'll link below and at the end. It's a Linux based all metal radio that comes in a few different colours. The other round device is the T3, a Linux based handset that's about the same size as a stopwatch and has a full menu system and works really well. It does double as a watch with a supplied strap but I think there's some more slimlining to be done first and I'm sure you'll agree. So that's an overview of the Global PTT platform, 
It'll be really interesting to see how these devices progress and develop, and how the platform as a whole moves forward. I've really been enjoying playing around with it, and some of these little devices are good fun, with clear, long-range, uninterrupted comms, good audio quality, and extremely low latency. I'll be covering some more global PTT compatible devices in upcoming videos, so stay tuned for more. If you'd like to find out more, I'll put links in the description below.